We're covering a pretty common issue in this video. We all forget our passwords from time to time, so today we'll be working on showing you how to reset the password to get back into your system. Now it looks like I forgot my password here, so I've got four attempts remaining. And after a handful of unsuccessful login attempts, your system is going to lock itself out to prevent any future login attempts. This is sometimes indicated with a loud beeping from the system and a prompt on screen showing you that you're currently locked out of the system. And there's two things that we can do to unlock the system. The first is to power the system down with the rocker switch on the back or by simply unplugging the system from its power source. And the second way is to simply wait 30 minutes without attempting to log into the system. So just to make things a little bit faster here, I'm just going to reboot my MVR. After a reboot, the system will be unlocked and we can attempt to log into it again. And after the system's been unlocked, you can try to log in with a password, but sometimes we simply don't know the password. So at this point, we would just go ahead with a password reset. Now to the right of where you would enter your password, you'll find an icon. This is the forgot password section. Let's click on that icon. When you configured your system, it prompted you to enter in security questions as well as an email address. And these are the two ways that we can reset our password. If you know your security questions, go ahead and enter them here. If all the questions have been answered correctly, you'll be prompted with a reset password. Enter in that new password and then confirm it below. And once you click OK, it'll say password is reset. If your system has IP cameras attached to it, which in my application I do have one camera attached, it will ask you if you wish to change the password on the camera or cameras. I strongly suggest you do click on the OK button here, otherwise your system and your cameras will have different passwords. Normally this isn't a big deal. However, if we're resetting a password that was forgotten, we most likely don't remember what the camera's password was set to. So. I would probably go ahead and proceed with that password reset on the camera as well. Now keep in mind that this section will only apply to CCTV Security Pro's cameras. Third-party cameras will not work in this section. After I click OK, it's going to attempt to change the password on any attached cameras. And we will see that the password was successfully altered to match the NVR system. If you didn't configure your security questions, or perhaps you simply don't know them, you can select the email reset option. If you entered your email address in when you were configuring the system for the first time, this is going to be pre-populated for you. And for this video, I don't have the email address entered, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in now. Click OK to agree to the reset terms. Now we're on the email password reset page. This QR code on the left is going to be the code that we have to scan with your cell phone or tablet or pretty much any kind of mobile device. If you already have a QR code scanner app on your phone, you're more than welcome to use that. I'm going to switch gears over to my phone. I'm going to show you the one that I use a lot. It's on the App Store and the Play Store, and it's simply called QR Reader. Download that app and open it once it's complete. The app is going to need access to your camera on your phone, so go ahead and allow that. And we need to scan the QR code on the left. Once it's scanned, it's going to give you an incredibly long string of letters and numbers. We're going to copy that code, and we need to email it to the address shown on your password reset screen. You don't need a subject or anything like that. You just simply need to send that code to the email provided. This is what the email address looks like on my system. Be sure to send that code to the correct email address on the NVR screen. This process takes a few minutes, so be patient. 
Within the first few minutes after you send that very first email, you're going to receive an auto response. This auto response is simply letting you know that the email was received on our end and basically just need to sit tight for the second email, which is going to get sent to the email address that you provided inside of your NVR or DVR system. And it looks like we received our second email here, which has that reset code. This code is only valid for 24 hours, so it's better to act on this sooner than later. Keep in mind that this unique code will only work with the system you scan the QR code on. So if you have multiple systems, you will need to do this for each system that requires a password reset. I'm going to enter in that security code now. And if the code was entered correctly, you'll be able to reset your password on this screen here. Enter your new password and confirm below. Looks like it's going to ask us if we want to sync our password again here. I'm going to go ahead and proceed and say yes. We want our cameras and our NVRs to have the same password. It just makes more sense. And let's test our password out and make sure that we're able to get in. And everything looks good. We're back into the system. Password has been reset and we should be good to go. This can be tricky if you've never done a password reset. So if you need assistance, feel free to snap a picture of that QR code on your screen and email it to our support team. I'm going to add our support email in the description of this video. So if you run into issues, just send us an email. Thanks for watching.